Hello everyone, it's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Saturday, October 22nd, and I will be talking about the stitching and quilting and all the work I've done this week. I have some, I have two finishes to share and some FFOs, and uh, then the giveaways from last week to share the winners of and the giveaways for this week. Uh, Cooper and Whiskey are in my lap. Whiskey's doing the Darth Vader breathing. He does that when he wants attention, I've noticed, and it's hilarious. I'll be in the kitchen. If they ever see me with the cutting board, if I get the cutting board out, they come running over because usually that means I'm cutting up carrots or celery for soup or something like that, or um, if they know that I'm gonna shred chicken fresh out of the Instant Pot, they get a little bit of that. And so Whiskey's always there and he does his, he'll sit on the floor and just stare at me and do this Darth Vader breathing. It's what I call it, so I call him Vader. Um, so I'm gonna let them go. Hi, Coopers. So here's Cooper. And they're not doing, they're not playing together well today. So um, having them both in my lap is kind of not a good idea. I'm not pushing them together too much today. Um, I'm looking a little raggedy today. We had a really productive week. The Mr. Finis finished the solar panel project on the motorhome. And um, today, I, I didn't want to do this. I've been putting it off for weeks and weeks and weeks. But I had to go weed the yard because uh, if you're in the northwest or central north, I don't know, maybe all of the north. I haven't been paying much attention to anybody else. But we have a storm coming in. As, and if you hear wind, it's, it's literally on its way in. Uh, but the weeds in our yard were terrible. And I told the mister, before the first snow gets here, I need, I need to go pull them all. Well, the mister really kind of messed up his back working on the solar panel project. And so I'm, I was like, I'll go weed eat. I'll pull all the weeds and the weeds are, they're tall because I have put off this task and there's lots of thistle out there. Well, I didn't realize that wasps will nest, maybe just I, just me, um, but at the base of the thistle plants. And thankfully, I didn't realize that until I only had like maybe six plants left to to pull plants, weeds, uh, because once I did and all these wasps started crawling out, I, I was freaked out. Thankfully, they were very sluggish and some just took off and did their own thing, um, but that was not pleasant to see. Uh, that's I've had spiders come out from weeds because, yes... I wait till the last minute to weed and they get nice and tall. I shouldn't do that, I know, but I did. So anyway, um, it was busy. I did that all morning, early afternoon, and then I wasn't even gonna record. And then I thought, no, I, I need to get this done so I can do the giveaway winners. And uh, so I just threw on some makeup and I kept my hair up. I, I, I did comb it though, <laughs> but it's late in the afternoon, so I just, this is what you get. Um, but I had food prepped all week, so we've got soups ready. Um, just lots of busy work like that. So I was glad to get that done, ready for the storm. We are now um, tucked away, and it's funny because everybody in the neighborhood, you could hear them. Um, lawn mowers going, weed eaters going one last get their lawns taken care of before the storm got here and I was part of that except I was just uh, sorry my seat I was just pulling weeds with my hands okay so stitching oh shoot I forgot my book man I was really hoping to not have to stop the video and I always end up having to stop the video like three or four times <laughs> It's really annoying and I lose track of how long the videos are because I'm you know on my fourth try and it only says five minutes when in actuality I've been recording for like 45 minutes okay I was starting to say the stitching I've done this week as you know I was working on let's root for each other and watch each other grow this is from the book cross stitch for the heart we started a start along slash stitch along uh, 
on August 14th. So anybody who had this book, wanted to stitch any chart in it, we've been stitching along and I finished it this past week. I was hoping to get it done on Sunday and I had everything done but the pink petals, the light pink petals on this flower right, sorry, on this flower right here. These four light pink petals and the mister and I just ran out of steam on Sunday night and I said, let's just go to bed. It'll probably only take me 20 minutes, but I'm tired. So let's just go to bed. He was ready for bed and then I was ready for bed. So on Monday, I finished it because I, I was not gonna wait a week to stitch those four petals. So I got it finished and then yesterday I planned to fully finish off five different things and I had good plans but finishing off let's root for each other took me most of the day. That was after all of our grocery shopping and getting everything ready for the storm but this is my finish. Um, this is kind of the first time I've done something like this. I found this at Hobby Lobby and I painted it teal. Um, the light is bad because like I said, the storm's coming in. So maybe if I go back more, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it is almost the same color as this, this floss color here. So what I did is I, I painted it. I just did acrylic paint. The wood was kind of finished with a white, kind of a whitewash. I hope the acrylic won't flake off. It probably will because I'm not good with paint. I don't know anything about paints, but I saw the color. I saw this was the only, oval frames are incredibly hard to find. And so when I found this one, I just was like, that's it. And I thought about centering it more in the oval, but it gave too much space on the top and bottom because it's not exactly, this is a more narrow oval than this. But anyway, I figured I'd, I'd set it more towards the bottom and then I just put some little floral, I just hot glued, hot glued that up there. Um, and then the white, it, it looked a little plain just itself. So I, I took some cording of this color here and um, I stitched it all around and then in, instead of tucking it behind, I just... I just did the little tassels. The mister said it looked fine. He liked it with the tassels hanging down. So I thought, okay, I'll do that. Um, but I did it to the side because I wasn't sure how good it would look over here. And I didn't have a long enough cording to hang down a little ways. It probably would look better, but we're just going with the side. We're going to pretend it's like a side ponytail or something. So this turned out really nice. I, and what I did for, for this part was I just, I made an, I drew an oval in Microsoft Word and then I told it the size that I wanted it. I wanted it seven and a half, did I go seven and a half? Yes, seven and a half inches wide and I told it to go 10 inches tall and, and then just printed out a template essentially. And, and then I put that on some mat board. I, I taped, cut the oval out. I didn't tape it. I glued it with just like a glue stick to some mat board, cut it out with um, an X-Acto knife. And then I put some batting over it. I centered this on it as best I could. And then I just, st I, I cut the fabric like two inches all the way around in an oval shape and I just ran some pearl thread through it, some pearl cotton, and then just kind of did drawstring and and then, you know, stitched back and forth to gather everything. And then I pressed it because it was all very lumpy in the back. So I just took my iron and I pressed, 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 and then I glue gunned it down. So this is my finish. Um, Can you see? I, I think it's coming up. I think it's picking up the teal pretty well. So anyway, I love it. I think it's pretty. And actually the funny thing is, is this piece, oh, it's supposed to hang like this. There's a, a rope here and I just took it off and then I had one of these picture hangers that you screw in. I just had an extra one and so 
Uh, I just screwed it in at the back, uh, top center, and this is done, ready to go hang on a wall somewhere. So I think that turned out pretty good, don't you? Okay, super happy with that. My other finish, I forgot my board. I was trying to rush and get this done because I'm losing the light, and so anyway. Okay, so this is the number nine stocking. Again, I changed her dress colors to more plum colors, and I will have that in the description box below. Um, my camera does not like the black. Oh, I think we realized before, I think we figured out that it's fine if I'm just holding her up, maybe. No, apparently that's incorrect as well. But anyway, I have the floss conversion that I did for her dress in the description box. This is done. This took me all week to stitch. I've only got, with our schedule changes and a lot of the work we've been trying to get done to prep for winter um, and, and me catching up on other areas, I, I've only got like an hour, hour and a half at night to stitch now. So it, it really took me all week to get that done. But it, it's done. I was hoping to get it finished yes, yesterday, fully finished off. But like I said, the, the let's root for each other piece took forever. I had to stop the video because the mister came down the stairs and then the dogs went nuts. Because um, they were very happy to see him. And I think they've calmed down enough. Okay. Even though stitching on that stocking took me all week, um, I will get it finished this week. I will fully finish it off this week. I still... Um, interjected a thought right in the middle of a sentence that's pretty common though right we all know I do that I did have another new start I started the November well hello there this is from hands-on design this is November now I actually changed the November colors to suit my November decor a little better so the the words are in, uh, let me get my glasses on, because I don't even know what floss number this is. I just, I grabbed my DMC color card, held it up to my decorations, which I put away already, or I'd show them to you, um, and found the right color. So that's 3830. That's what I'm going to do November in. And then hello, I'm going to do in 3849. So that'll be the little teal banner up there. And then there's an arrow on there with the buttons. And that is 3899, and I'm just going to leave it. So it's going to be these three colors. Terrible at holding everything up at once. I don't know why it's such a struggle for me. Uh, I'm just an awkward person. If you didn't pick that up before now, uh, I, I'm completely an awkward person. Awkward in conversation. Awkward in just standing around. Awkward in holding my things up. Okay, I'm going to stop saying awkward. Let's see if it... So those are the three colors. Still, still trying to hold them up. And I do have the button pack. Man, the lighting is just there. There's some good lighting. So my favorite button in this button pack is this houndstooth button right there. So, good grief. The, yeah, this one. And so the 3899, which is pulling up really dark, it is fairly dark, but, and, and this teal floss, what did I say that was? 3849, that'll look good together. That'll all look good. So I hope to get this finished, what's today, Saturday, tonight. But if not, it'll happen on uh, Sunday or Monday. Oh, I didn't pick a Sunday a new Sunday piece. Okay, I'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Cooper is just driving me crazy. He's been barking at everyone in the neighborhood today. Okay, 
I don't even think anybody's outside. Cooper gets weird with storms. He does not like thunder. He does not like the wind freaks him out and he has to go bark. And I don't know if you remember, we have a big window in our living room that overlooks the street and the Mr. Bought Cooper a bench. Nothing's in front of this window because the heater vent is right in front of this window. So uh, we weren't going to put a chair or like a couch or anything above it, but he bought like a big bench. It almost looks like a piano bench, but a little longer hallway bench, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it's Cooper's bench so he can see the whole street, which is a wonderful thing because he has to know what's going on. If he hears noise, he has to go to the window to see what's happening. Uh, so anyway, nobody's out there, but the wind is really going. So he's had to go yell. All right, I just showed you the November piece that I'm working on. I hope to finish Saturday night or Monday night. When that's finished, my next plan is to start working on this. I was going to start working on the November, um, this one, Year of Celebrations from Hands on Design, but I really want to get this this one done. So this is next after that. Now I was talking about the Sunday piece uh, because it just dawned on me. I need, I really like having one piece to work on on Sunday, a dedicated piece. I have foregone stitching on most of my whips this year. As many of you know, I, I got into doing the smalls and wanting to do themed smalls for the buffet decoration area. So I'm scrambling, trying to keep one month ahead to get stuff done. And as you know, no, October's ending. I don't even have my November stitching done. I don't even have the November quilt runner, uh, table runner done. So I'm scrambling a little bit, trying to catch up on that. But Sunday really seems to be a nice day uh, because sometimes I have extra time to stitch. To work on so I just drug my um my basket it's literally a laundry basket one of those taller standing laundry baskets where I have all my whips in it and I'm looking and I think I know Julie wants me to work on the chatelaine and I I do too uh, I, like I said, I'm not focused on any of my whips really this year. They are not the focus for me, but I have many I'd like to get done. And as much as it would be nice to get back to the Chatelaine, I think the one that I really need to work on because I'm at the, ha I'm over halfway done is Flowers of the Holy Night. So this is what is going to be my Sunday stitching. I only have the the leaf border and three more flowers to do. It's it's a mandala pattern, so it's the same whichever way you look at it. So I could possibly have this done by December. Um, if I do get it finished, it won't be hanging though uh, by Christmas because this is a piece I think I'm going to, I'm almost positive I'm sending it to Jill Rensel for framing. So Flowers of the Holy Night is a pattern from Glendon Place. I am stitching it on 28 count Lugana and I'm stitching it with the called for dinky dye silks. I have a project bag for it. I'm oh yeah. It's been so long since I've seen my whips that I'm like, I don't even remember bags. This is a, a project bag I made forever ago. It's got my favorite Christmas village print on it. I love it. Okay. Anyway, enough about project bags. This is the pattern. Oh, I have to do all the beading too. I forgot. And then I've got all the dinky dye silks. So this is the new Sunday stitch. And I think it's appropriate, especially this time of year. Christmas is coming. I should really get this done. I have two themed holiday themed pieces that I really do want to get done. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with Sunday stitching and just keep on with choosing a, a piece. Two, three. I've got Lady of the Flag, 
I've got this, All Souls, v I've got many. Okay, let's not go there because then I'm going to get distracted and want to work on all my whips right now. You know how that goes, right? Even though I've got the bug for smalls, sometimes those whips, you just look at them and you've got some that are just calling for you. Okay, so that's plans. That's plans for this week. Um, I've made a huge mess. Okay, let's talk about other finishes. Last week, I did not get any of my finishes done. I have two October finishes now that we're at the end of October uh, that I finally finished off. Okay, one of them was Jack. This is a needle print and play. I don't, I looked on just another button company's website for this and I didn't see this at all. So this one is definitely n no longer available, I guess, unless you can find someone selling it, you know on eBay or something. So I did what I said. I just got some cardstock and put it on there. And then I just made a little paper easel uh, and taped it onto the back. So it'll just stand up. And it stands up on its own with the, with the easel and done. So that was really easy. This one, the next, so that's one finish, I'm sorry. I'm going along quick because I am losing the light and I'm tired and um, I still have to do all the editing and make meatloaf for dinner and it's almost all time to do all of that. So uh, if I'm rushing a little more than normal, I'm sorry. Okay, another finish. I had the October Year of Celebrations piece to finish. And I did not finish it the way uh, Kathy did with the clipboard. I decided to do a cube finish. Now, Heather the Blessed Stitcher, she had a cube finish on YouTube a long time ago. Uh, I went and looked for it to refresh my memory to see if I remembered how she did it, her cube finishes. And it was no longer available. So I did find Stitcherista had a cube. She had like a, a finish. Danielle had a finish with me. And she was working on a frosted pumpkin. It was adorable. I actually watched it and then decided I really need to find this or to buy this pattern because it was super cute. But so I... As Danielle on her video, this is a video like from 2018. She's finishing her cube finish. I did mine in the same amount of time. And I had the same problems as I was going along that Danielle did. So as Danielle's repinning hers or cutting her fabric, I'm doing the same thing. It was kind of funny. Uh, so anyway, this is my October. My bow's a little long. I am not good with bows at all. I, I don't enjoy them. Uh, they never look pretty. I would love to have Priscilla bows everywhere, but I just don't. So I just, the cubes I found at the Dollar Tree and I picked up like two or three when I was there and because I wanted to try finishing this way and it was super easy. You just pinned, I just pinned everything down. I had some ribbon, uh, put the ribbon on. This is the Halloween fabric I chose when I cut it, it was centered on this. And then I realized that I needed to cut bigger than I was initial than what I had centered on. And I didn't want to waste fabric. So yeah, they're not centered on there anymore, but nobody really looks at the back, but super easy finish. I mean, it was just fold pins and then I wrapped the ribbon around. I, it was wonderful except for when I had to take it apart and repin because I pinned it on crooked. Okay, so that was my second finish. Oh, third, because I forgot let's root for each other. All right, my last finish. Is this the last one? One, two, three, four, yes. I don't know if you remember a while back, some of you may, I bought this tier trade set from Amazon and they they were like these little i had round uh rectangular and you put these different themed like things in them uh cards so all the cards i'm, I'm trying not to show you what i did so valentine's day christmas 
Uh, this is what I would have put in for Thanksgiving, Easter, and you just switch them out and you just stick them in your tear tray. And there's a circle one. Uh, I think a, I didn't bring the others down, but a rectangular one and a square one. Now, remember, I just finished this little Petite Stitches Thanksgiving chart. It's a freebie from the Fat Quarter Shop, and they come out nice and small and a perfect size for these tear trade things. So this is what I did. That's it. I just stuck that pumpkin right in there. Um, and I, I just cut a piece of rickrack, and when I put the back in, I just smashed it in there and put the, the cardboard you know, uh, backing on before I, I, you know what I mean, popped it in. So all I did was I traced the back, the cardboard back that goes, or it's probably chipboard that goes in the back of this thing. This is what it should look like for Thanksgiving. So you pop, you take the little card, you pop it in, make sure it's all centered. And then you keep the other cards in here. There's all the themes in here. You keep them all in here and you put the cardboard back on. So I just traced, no, I traced one of the cards onto comic book board because I have that. And then I just uh, did drawstring around, you know, I just like I did with the oval, took, took some pearl cotton thread and went all the way around, trimmed the piece down, pulled it tight, pressed it, and then just ran my stitches across and popped it in here. That's it. Oops, but not that way. Let's do it the right way. It did take me a long time, <laughs> much longer than it should have to center this thing in here the first time around. So I'm going to center it again. So this is what it looked like at first. And I was like, oh, that's kind of plain. And that's when I got the idea just to take a a piece of rickrack along the bottom, fold it over the back, and then when I laid the chip chipboard backing down, I just had this, oops, tucked over the back, and then it just, you know, the pressure just held it, holds it in place there. And I thought that was kind of a fun idea, right? And, and then you can, if you stitch any other petites or anything, and you have this set, uh, I'll put a link to it below. You can just, you know, decorate them really easily. Put in your own themed stitching instead of the the little paper things. Okay, I need to pause because I can't focus while I'm trying to, to stick this back together. Okay, I think I got it. My rickrack doesn't seem to be as tight as before, so I may have to fuss with it later. I think it was up a little higher. Um, and now it's not, I think I tacked it in a little too early, but I thought that was a nifty way to use one of the petites just to finish this and, uh, and be able to stick it in my tear tray for Thanksgiving. So that is my fourth and final finish for this week. I, I, I did all of that stuff yesterday. Like I said, the bulk of yesterday was me finishing Let's Root for Each Other and uh everything else was super fast after that that was that took a bit of time so this week's plan for finishing is i have one christmas piece that i have had sitting out on my desk for probably a month and a half as one of the pieces i wanted to get finished i got all the supplies and everything and i just ran out of time so i want to get that finished uh it's I think it's called Tis the Season. It's the Blackbird Designs um, stitch along that we were all part of a long, long time ago. A uh, couple years, I think. And, and then the stocking number nine. So that will be my finishing plans for this coming week. Okay, moving on finally to quilting. Uh, all I had time to do was pull the fabri fabrics for the farmhouse fall quilt. Uh, table runner. I'm not making the whole quilt. I'm making a table runner. I figured out what I needed. I'm going to do four blocks and then the sashing and border blocks I think are only going to be like an inch each. Um, I, I don't remember exactly 
I wrote it out somewhere. Uh, I, I have to adjust all of the measurements and things so it fits my buffet table, um, which is like 14 and a half inches wide by 60 inches long. And so all table runners, I have to adjust to that size because I like it to fit exactly. So I've got four pumpkin blocks and four leaf blocks and I found colors, fabrics, colors that are essentially very similar to this. I just went into my Shine On fabrics. I have a huge bin left over of Shine On fabrics from the Shine On Quilt Along and I used mostly those and I had to pull a few extra because I wanted a few extra prints to make it scrappy. But I have both of the pumpkin blocks cut out and now I just need to cut out the leaf blocks and that will be the quilting that I do this week. So yeah, I don't have any quilting to show you. I'm not, I almost pulled the piles of fabrics over here and then just thought, no, it's already a big mess and it's better to see when it's all put together. Okay, so moving on to mail I received this week. I received the Fabric of the Month Club from Grace Notes Fabric and I switched my order to 32 Count Lugana and this is a beautiful, um, beautiful fabric color it's called mojita smoothie and oh, my light is always terrible it is a really light mint color it's like a mojito i always say mojito wrong i always emphasize the wrong syllables i think and I put too much emphasis on the T. It drives me crazy. It's one of my things that I hear myself say it and I just cringe inside. So I don't know that you can see it, but it is beautiful and it has just a beautiful amount of modeling. Uh, Lugana and Joblin never really pick up dyes as much as the linen does. Uh, and I know that when I order it. And I tend to like more subtle modeling modeling <laughs> i'm gonna be emphasizing all the t's now um so that's perfect for me i love it and then i i signed up for the accessory too so i get a fat quarter of the 32 count lugan am i 32 count or 36 i think it's yeah 32 and then I also get an accessory every month. And this is a really nifty accessory. This is a cross stitch key. It's an It's So Emma product. So you've got a ruler on this side and then you just put it up to your cloth, whatever kind of cloth you have. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep it so the reflection isn't showing. Um, to see if, if you're not certain what count it is, uh, there's, there's your ruler and it it'll count the threads for you yeah I'm doing terrible with that today there we go and then a needle guide for which size needle to use which with count with which count of thread so that's a nifty tool I love that and then I got my tagged label this is a sweetwater fabrics label club so every month you get a themed label and this month is thankful and it just says always be thankful for the little things and made with love by me so i have to i'll find a quilt to put that on i love their little label clubs i was hoping for a halloween label but i think they did a halloween themed box a couple months ago and so probably no Halloween theme labels for me this year because I, I finished a couple Halloween quilts so I'm just gonna have to put a regular Christine label on them um, that I got from them before I ordered just a bunch of standard labels and I'll probably put those on there okay before I get into the giveaway patterns I do want to mention I was contacted by a new designer of cross stitch patterns her name is Penny Reynolds and she is the designer at Sage Butterfly Designs I wrote it down so I should look at the paper right she is doing a free Christmas stitch along 
it starts November 1st, but she has released the entire pattern because she is not a fan of mystery patterns. And I know many of you aren't either, and sometimes neither am I, uh, because you get halfway through and then you realize I'm not really a fan of this pattern. So she has, uh, she's got the entire pattern, uh, pattern design, <laughs> Stitch Along Pattern Design, it's been released. You can see that and I'll pop a picture up of it. And she will be releasing the free pattern in the Facebook group. She has a Facebook group. I'll link to her Facebook group below and any other links I mentioned, um, any other products I mentioned, stuff like that, it's all in the description box below. Always check the description box. Um, but her links will all be under one heading of Sage Butterfly Designs. Her Facebook group is where she will be re releasing the free stitch along on November 1st. And she said, uh, she's also got a website. Uh, she says on the website, I read that there's no rules. There's no finish date or any time pressure. You just, she's releasing it now. So if you want to have it done in time for Christmas, you'll have time. She's also got a floss tube channel. So I will be um, leaving the link to that as well and she has an etsy shop with some other patterns and she has a really cute christmas tree pattern um in her etsy shop i saw today um and i was like hmm i like this pattern so i just wanted to mention that um the facebook group you can go join um and you can see the pattern and everything in the group it's not a super secret group or anything right now so you're able to see her posts and and comments on on the stitch along and everything uh, before you decide to join uh, but I wanted to let you know um yeah if you're interested in a free free Christmas stitch along pattern Penny's got one for you okay so let's get into the giveaways all right so last week I d I called a giveaway winner and I have not heard from them uh Lisa Brown you won the 12 and a half inch cutting mat. I left a comment on your comment, but I haven't heard from you. So if you can please send me an email or fill out the address form so I can get that in the mail for you, I would really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> the package was sitting on the, it's been sitting on the table, it's ready to go. And the Mr. Saunt, he's like, did you forget to send somebody's package out? <laughs> I said, no, he was very concerned for you guys that I had forgotten. I said, no, I just, I'm waiting for an address. Uh, it'll, it'll get to them. I, I'm, I'm just waiting. <laughs> His concern was, was cute. All right. So last week I showed this November trucking along pattern. This was a pattern uh, sent to me by Mary Keenan to give away to one of you. So thank you, Mary, for that. Uh, and the winner of the pattern, uh-oh, where's my paper? Here it is. Okay. <laughs> is Cindy Flinchbaugh. So congratulations, Cindy, on winning the Trekking Along November pattern. And I did see that you filled out the address form, so I will be getting that in the mail to you on Monday. The next items were a, they were a three-pack, but I actually broke them up into individual bags. So it's the uh, the gingham from, from It's So Emma. It's a gingham three-piece project bag set. All three, they're out of the, I've already taken them out because that bag is super extra crinkly. So these were the bags. There was pink, pink, gray, and teal. So let me go through the teal, the winner of the teal bag this was the big one, Shannon Tolbert. So congratulations, Shannon. And I did see your address as well. Thank you so much for filling that out. The gray bag, this is cute. This one went to Jean Cotton. Uh, so congratulations, Jean. I did not see your address though. So if you don't feel comfortable filling out the address form, if you would email me your address. I would really appreciate that. Uh, my email is in the description box. You'll probably just want to copy and paste it because it's long. Christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com. And uh, when I get your email, I will pop your bag in the mail. 
And then the pink bag went to Debbie Sisk. So congratulations to everyone. Um, like I said, I need addresses from Jean Cotton and Lisa Brown. And I can get your items out in the mail to you. Congratulations, everyone. Okay, so this week we're getting down in the Fat Quarter Shop box. Um, these were items Fat Quarter... Fat Quarter Shop sent me uh, to either keep or give away, and they're so cute. Uh, this is the Vintage Strawberry Mini Cutting Mat. So strawberry is going to be the keyword if you're interested in this. It's a five by seven mat, and it's self-healing and double-sided. So you could use the peach side or the green side, either one. And that's super handy to have. So like I said, if you're interested in this one, uh, strawberry is the key word. I love strawberries. And then I am getting into the floss bitties. So it's a pack of floss bitties. There's 20 in them in each one. There's four designs in the Halloween one. And so if you're interested in the Halloween floss bitties, Halloween is going to be your key word. And then the other one is for the Autumn Beauties floss bitties. And these cover up all of the different patterns. So I'm going to open them up. Sorry for the noise. So you can see the picture of all four autumn floss bitties. These match their autumn, autumn pattern I just gave away. Autumn Harvest. Is that what it was from Lori Holt? Um, so if you're interested in... The Autumn Beauties, maybe it was Autumn Beauty. There's a novel thought. Read the label. Uh, autumn is going to be your keyword. So that's it for this week's video. I am going to wrap it up. As you can see, the sun is coming down. The light is changing again. And um, I have to edit this all together. And like I said, make meatloaf. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, if you're anywhere near the storm, stay, stay safe, warm, cozy, uh, have a bowl of soup. I'm going to, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.